Don't look back there. Today, I'm gonna be pretending like I'm in a Vogue Beauty Secrets video. Cause God knows Vogue would never let me on the channel, cause why? What qualifications do I have to be on Vogue's YouTube channel? Not that this is a pitch to them or a diss to them. I don't wanna be on their channel. There, I said it. I really just wanted an excuse to get all cute and do my makeup with you because I've been really liking doing my makeup lately. I'm gonna do it with you and I'm gonna tell you everything I do and all the products I use and all my tips and my tricks and my secrets because obviously you all wanna look like me. So let's just get into it, I guess. First, I'm gonna start with lip balm. This is the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. These things are so good. Next, I'm gonna go in with some color corrector. This is the Sikapair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment from Dr. Jart. A little of this goes a long way. I'm just gonna get the tiniest, tiniest amount. I'm gonna dot it on my face where I get red. So like in my cheeks. Also maybe a little on my nose where I've got some zits right now. I'm gonna do brows next. I'm currently in between a few products. First I'm gonna go with brow pencil. Obviously my tried and true Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is in medium brown. But then recently I've been using this Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer. This is in the shade Dark Brown. This one's more waxy. This one glides on. But the spoolie on this one's so much better, so I'm just gonna brush my hairs up and then go in with the Too Faced one. I'm putting like brow-like strokes in my eyebrow where it's a little sparse. And now I'm gonna diffuse it with my spoolie so it looks a little bit more like a natural brow. One of my last steps is brow gel, so I'll do that later. But for now, the brow pencil's what we've got going on. Next, I'm gonna go in with some cream bronzer. This is the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer. Here she is. I'm gonna take a Real Techniques buffing brush. This part always is a little nerve wracking because I don't want to overdo it. I just grab a little bit of product and then on my cheekbone, I'm gonna blend up only into my temple and onto my forehead. Now I'm gonna go with concealer. I love concealer. I don't wear foundation, I only wear concealer. I'm gonna take the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I have the shade 1.5C. Still don't know if it matches me completely. I think it works for my summer tan that I'm getting currently. I put this under my eyes. I do that thing to lift my face, which apparently it doesn't even lift. Apparently it just makes your temples look huge, but I'm gonna keep doing it because I actually don't blend it really out. I blend it onto my eyelid because I have veiny eyelids. <laughs> I do one eye at a time. I don't let it sit or anything because I don't want it to be dry. Sometimes I'll go back in and just add a little more around my cheek. I'm gonna take the same concealer and I'm gonna put some under my nose, like right here, because I tend to get red there. And like around my mouth, I have some discoloration. So I'm also gonna put some concealer there. Then sometimes, it really depends on how I'm feeling, I'll take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I put this one on my pimples because it's more my all over shade. Now I'm gonna set my face. I really don't need to set this concealer under my eyes. It kind of sets itself, but I like to do it as a precaution anyways, especially because I get really oily, especially in the summer. I'm just gonna set with this Maybelline Fit Me translucent pressed powder. Sweep it under my eyes. Now we're gonna bronze. I love looking bronzed and tan. I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the light shade. I love this bronzer. I've been using this for forever and it smells like coconuts so i just go literally all over my face like i'm gonna go literally all over my face i like an all over bronze it's just so tan and perfect and i just look so good I think having that cream bronzer underneath really helps helps it give a little bit of more pigment give it a little bit of power <laughs> why do they sound like alfie days bro I'm, I'm not a Tory. Tory. Before I continue with my face, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes really quick. I curl my eyelashes more than once during my makeup routine because they're so stick straight. Just a little bit. 
just to get them ready. Now for one of my favorite steps. I think it's just because I'm in my like pink era, like I'm loving pink and like being girly. Like I'm wearing jewelry, like cute, dainty gold jewelry. The f what is happening to me? I'm also in like a little cute lace tank top. I'm in a robe. I didn't even address that. I'm in a robe and it's got my initials on it. The next up is blush. I'm gonna take this Benefit blush. It's in the shade Krista and it's like this strawberry. I used to be a real big peach blush stan. That's all I would wear. And then I was like, wait, I think pink would look better on me. And then I was like, but I don't, I, I don't know. I still love a peach blush. So I feel like this is kind of a good in between of that. It's also very pigmented, so I'm just gonna... Mm -hmm. That's it. And then I'm gonna sleep it onto my cheekbones and like up to my temples. And then I put some on my nose. I can't believe there was a time when we weren't wearing blush. I was watching a girl do her makeup. It was like a video from like 2019 maybe? Like not that long ago. This bitch didn't use blush. She went right from cream contour to highlighter. And since I'm literally insane, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a second blush because I don't love highlighter. I've never put highlighter on my face because I'm a glitter hater. F glitter. I'm anti-glitter. So I refuse to use highlighter. So instead I'm gonna use another blush with shimmer in it. And this is a peach blush. So slay. This is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. This is like the product that made me fall in love with blush. I love it. It smells like peach. I don't even think they sell this anymore. It's definitely expired and I am obsessed with it. I can't believe I haven't hit pan on this because I go crazy with this. It gives like a golden like sheen that's not super overpowering. So cute, so cute, so cute. Now for real, I'm gonna curl my lashes like a madman. Like I'm gonna curl them so much that my eyes are probably gonna water. This is an e.l.f. eyelash curler, by the way. It's my favorite. Random thought just popped into my head while I was doing that. Do y'all remember deadlocks? <laughs> oh God. This guy's Minecraft, deadlocks, Ross. Oh my God, I met Ross. I don't know if I've ever talked about that. At VidCon, like, forever ago, I met Ross, Shelby, and Max. I don't know why... I mean, I do know why I was obsessed with them. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. <laughs> Put some eyebrow gel in. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This stuff, I gotta be real careful with. Like, I'm literally gonna wipe off, like, all of it. And I'm gonna do a slight little bit. I just brush them up all the way. I like them to stand tall. <laughs> That's so fucked up. How can the Lincoln Lawyer, a shit ass Netflix show, get a second season, but Julian the Phantoms, arguably one of the best Netflix originals, get canceled? Kenny Ortega deserved better, and so did all the cast. Are you kidding me? Sorry. I'm not actually. Let me speak out. Um, okay. I'm gonna curl my lashes again. I know. I know. I'm literally killing my eyelashes, but they need it. I just want to make sure they're gonna stay all day. We're almost done with my makeup. Isn't that crazy? Next, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Lash Discovery Waterproof Mascara. I will never shut up about this mascara. It is the best mascara I have probably ever used. I don't need volume or lengthening. I literally just want my eyelashes to be covered so they show up so you can see them so they're black, you know? And I want them to hold their curl and stay up all day. And you know what? This mascara does that. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront if you wanna buy it. Then I'm gonna take a spoolie and wherever it gets kind of clumpy, I'm just gonna brush them out. Now I'm gonna do a bottom lash mascara. I'm gonna use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I just like the wand on this. It's good for bottom lashes, it gets them all. I take my beauty blender and I go back over most of my makeup just to make sure it is all blended and it doesn't look dry. And then that tinted brow gel from NYX, it's good, but it's not gonna stay all day. It's gonna fall eventually. I just like it for the tinted aspect. So I'm gonna take the Anastasia clear brow gel. This stuff is like glue. Your eyebrows are gonna stay up all day if you use this. I don't use a lot, but it looks good. I look good. Yes. Last step, we're gonna do my lips. Been obsessed with doing my lips lately. Um, so I'm gonna take the NYX lip pencil in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. It's like a pinky nude-ish. Now I'm just gonna line my lips. I don't overline or anything. I just, you know, slightly line my lips. 
I'm gonna rub my lips together and blend it out. It's pretty much my natural lip shade, which is great. I don't know what lip product to use. I'm not really vibing with either of the lip glosses though, so I'm going with the Tarte. Lipstick today. It's just so pretty. This is my go-to. I wear it all the time. This is the finished makeup. I know, round of applause. I look so good. I look so good. It's criminal how good I look. That was my like everyday makeup routine. Simple, easy. Those are all my go-to products. I do a lot of makeup stuff on my TikTok, so go check that out. I do a lot of first impressions over there. So if you want to see me do my makeup some more and experiment with new things, check it out. It's a fun time over there. We have a good time on the Simply Lily TikTok. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe down below also. Well, I'm gonna go. I'll see you later. Bye.